<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm talking funny and I talk with a lisp, now you know why. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Headquarters at Headquarters. I was really excited to start thinking about something that uh, really ties my brand together. And uh, I started thinking, um, Mo, uh, you make hats. Uh, what makes you different from any other guy that happens to be customizing hats? I really started to think about the nuts and bolts of the type of material that I use and what sets me apart from a lot of other guys. Who gives a crap about thread? I'm gonna tell you why you should give a crap about thread. So if you ever purchase a hat from me, you notice that the stitching quality, everything is done by hand. Of course it's done on a machine, but the machine's not automated. Very special attention to detail gets put into every single piece that leaves my warehouse, my studio, hashtag my spare bedroom, whatever you want to call it. But without further ado, I wanted to put this thread through its paces. I just want to see how it holds up. So follow me guys, it's gonna be a fun video. I had a lot of fun filming it. And uh, if you have any questions, do them down in the comments below. But let's get started. I wanted to see how long an actual spool of coats thread was. So we have one unwrapped spool of coats thread and uh, we're gonna do a little test. Huh? How long do you think this is? Like a mile or two? This is probably like a mile straight down. Yeah. Go. That's just scary as hell to be honest. <laughs> Yo, it's like burning my freaking hand. <laughs> ah, shit, wait, 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 wait. This is a lot easier way to hold it. Okay, keep going. This is a lot easier way to hold it. I don't know why I wasn't holding it like this the first time. What? Like, the cone facing toward you. Yeah, bro, you can actually like... <laughs> We're not even halfway through this thing, bro. Are you serious? Well, yeah, we're kind of halfway through. Alright, so my sister drove all the way down to the end of the street. And we still have about half of the spool left. Um, as you can see with the little hookup, with the little hiccup, what happened was I was holding it like this like an idiot. And it was spinning like this. I was cutting my nail when I could have just held it facing forward and all the thread would have just kept going out this way. But uh, ultimately, there's a lot of thread on this one spool. So I'm thinking we could have went for miles just with this alone. So it's pretty cool. I always wanted to do that. All right, so you guys already saw how crazy long the thread is. So I wanted to see how strong it is. So what better way to find out? I'm gonna come to my boy's gym, little home gym and uh, Let's see what we can do. Ooh, we'll do a 10. So believe it or not, this thread is like really, really strong. And I didn't really know how strong it was until I had my finger wrapped around it, just playing around. I pulled it and it cut my finger. I'm really curious and interested and to see how, how much weight I can tie to one end of the string, hold the other string, and see how long it takes to it snaps. We're gonna start off with five pound increments. And then from I'm gonna tie one with a string and see if it holds. After that, we're gonna double it to put 10 pounds and see if that works. Now my theory, I don't think it's gonna work at five pounds, but I got, I got confidence in you. We're gonna work, we're gonna outperform any other thread on the market. Let's go. So the five pounds didn't work, but we got these hefty two and a half pounds, which is still, given how small this little thread is, would actually be impressive if it actually worked. So we're gonna try it again. <clears throat> so, this is the first time in my entire life that my thread let me down. Just not, this thread's not cut out for lifting weights, but um, I am, let's go.
first time you've ever let me down. We've been doing the same thing day after day, year after year. I thought we had something. I thought I understood you guys. You know what? I know you guys didn't mean it. I know you tried your best. I put you to do something that you guys don't normally do. Sorry for that. It won't happen again. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for following me along as I've made that video. I learned that there's a lot of thread on here. It doesn't really like to lift weights, but they make awesome hats. So guys, if you want to, follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys are ready for the next video. Should be out within a week, hopefully. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, please thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Is it